Hello children, in the last session we have finished chapter 1, the fun they had. And in that we had come across the characters Margie and Tommy, 11 year old girl and a 13 year old boy. And in that particular lesson, we have discussed about the comparison of 20th century and 22nd century school life. Understood? How Tommy found a real book and what are the discussions done between the between Margie and Tommy. And they have discussed about the 20th century school like sharing, caring, real teachers, school siblings, playground, joy with friends, happy schooling, right? And they have also discussed about the life of 22nd century school. Like they are having uh, mechan mechanical teachers, machine teachers, classrooms near. I mean in their own house itself just near the bedrooms or any other room in the living room. And no sharing and caring, electronic books, no conversation with the teachers, no playground. And mainly there will not be any interaction between the teachers and the students. So this is the main thing which the students of 22nd century is lacking when compared to the 20th century school children, right? And today, how they are every day, today and this, I mean the future, how they are managing with the computer, computers and everything is going on technologically. So we have discussed all over this through the lesson about the comparison of both 20th century schools and 22nd century schools with this the lesson ends and today in the next part we are going to play you a video in which you can analyze the story and the textbook part and the teaching part with the video recording right okay children let us go Margie even wrote about it that night in her diary. On the page headed 17 May 2155, she wrote, Today Tommy found a real book. It was a very old book. Margie's grandfather once said that when he was a little boy, his grandfather told him that there was a time when all stories were printed on paper. They turned the pages, which were yellow and crinkly. And it was awfully funny to read words that stood still instead of moving the way they were supposed to, on a screen, you know. And then when they turned back to the page, it had same words on it that it had when they read it the first time. Gee, what a waste! When you're through with the book, you just throw it away, I guess. Our television screen must have had a million books on it. And it's good for plenty more. I wouldn't throw it away. Same with my... Where did you find it? In my house. He pointed without looking, because he was busy reading in the attic. What's it about? School. Cool. What's there to write about school? I hate school. Maggie always hated school. But now she hated it more than ever. The mechanical teacher had been giving her test after test in geography. And she had been doing worse and worse until her mother had shaken her head sorrowfully and sent for the county inspector. He was a round little man with a red face and a whole box of tools with dials and wires. He smiled at her and gave her an apple, then took the teacher apart. Maggie had hoped he wouldn't know how to put it together again, but he knew how all right and after an hour or so, there it was again, large and black and ugly, with a big screen on which all the lessons were shown and the question was asked. That wasn't so bad. The part she hated most was the slot where she had to put homework and test papers. She always had to write them out in a punch code. They made her learn 
when she was six years old and the mechanical teacher calculated the marks in no time. The inspector had smiled after he was finished and patted her head. It's not the little girl's fault, Mrs. Jones. I think the geography sector was geared a little too quick. Those things happen sometimes. I have slowed it up to an average 10-year level. Actually, the overall pattern of her progress is quite satisfactory. Maggie was disappointed. Why should anyone write about school? Because it's not our kind of school, stupid. This is the old kind of school that they had hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Centuries ago. Well, I don't know what kind of school they had all that time ago. Anyway, they had a teacher. Sure, they had a teacher. But it wasn't a regular teacher. It was a man. How could a man be a teacher? A man isn't smart enough. Well, he just stole the boys and girls things and gave them homework and asked them questions. A man isn't smart enough. Sure he is. My father knows as much as my teacher. He knows almost as much as I bet you. I wouldn't want a strange man in my house to teach me. <laughs> you don't know much, Margie. The teacher didn't live in the house. They had a special building and all the kids went there. And all the kids learned the same thing? Sure, if they were the same age. But my mother says... A teacher had to be adjusted to fit the mind of each boy and girl it teaches. And that each kid has to be taught differently. Just the same. They didn't do it that way then. If you don't like it, you don't have to read the book. I didn't say. I didn't like it. Margie, school. Not yet, Mama. Now. And it's probably time for Tommy too. Can I read the book? Some more with you after school? Maybe. He walked away whistling with a dusty old book tucked away beneath his arm. Maggie went into the schoolroom. It was right next to her bedroom. And the mechanical teacher was on and waiting for her. It was always on at the same time every day except Saturday and Sunday because her mother said little girls learn better if they learned at regular hours. The screen was lit up and it said, Today's arithmetic lesson is on the addition of proper fractions. Please insert yesterday's homework in the proper slot. Maggie did so with a sigh. She was thinking about the old schools they had when her grandfather's grandfather was a little boy. All the kids from the whole neighborhood came laughing and shouting in the schoolyard, sitting together in the schoolroom going home together at the end of the day. They learned the same things so they could help one another on the homework and talk about it. And the teachers were people. The mechanical teacher was flashing on the screen. When we add the fractions one four and half. Maggie was thinking about how the kids must have loved it in the old days. She was thinking about the fun they had. Thank you, dears. Have a scintillating day.